take I five. want Ratchet to just fall over. <laughs> Greetings, Blark imbeciles. Dr. Dr. Nefarious. God, you look dumb. Selected for the beta trial of my you look so <laughs> fucking junk. Though so initial testing had a few small setbacks. I'm happy to report that it I looks like the Green Goblin the puppet, now like they were gonna do this instead of the, the armor crap that you know what I'm talking about. Giving you an advantage over those morons on the ground! The XK81 jetpack. Come pick yours up at no, our I think that is a no. Dr. Nefarious is not responsible for the Oh, Lord. What does that even say? Injury to your central nervous system. Well, in the original Spider Man, they were gonna just use defeated uh, like, the uh, and found puppet out what slash. Like, like. You did? But like, that's him! Animatronic head. Yeah, I got a holo card pack. That's a whole fat. Nice. Sweet, I unlocked the Omega Levasseter. Yeah. Uh, I don't know Holy what that shit, is. I don't think you're even able to buy it until the challenge mode. Yeah, you're not. Probably fucking expensive. <laughs> but that, that's fine because challenge mode gives you bolt multipliers. Hey, I bet the Rangers could use jetpacks. Should we head to Gaspar and see if we can Gaspar! <sighs> You never know, it might have everything to do with Ratchet and Clank. Gaston and Ratchet and Clank, it's more likely than you think. Check your video games today. Alright. Then thank you for that. Okay, let's upgrade some stuff. Guys, what should I upgrade? I didn't catch any Clay. of that, man. Also, you should upgrade the fucking bouncer. I should upgrade the fucking bouncer. Okay. Uh... No, but Vince, I was just saying, um, that's one view that I do like of yours. That's one what? Meme, besides the, uh... Oh, the yeah. <laughs> it's great, I love it. Alright, I have two more upgrade points. Uh, <laughs> do I want extended fuse? Uh, this one. There we go. Alright. Well, the bouncer is now 51% upgraded. Now, whenever the next boss comes along, you can just wreck its shit all the way to hell and back. Alright. Let's go to the next planet! Oh man, Planet Gaspar. He's in date. Well, I got the Magna Boots, and remember there was a Magna wall all the way back at Felden, so let's go see what that's about. Oh uh, yeah, let's do that. It's probably a gold bolt, or maybe a holo card set. I hope it's a rhino holo card. Or it's probably just more bolts. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it was just more bolts. About the way I have my screen set up, it looks like I'm watching this on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> we're so legit now. Oh my god, we're streaming on Facebook. We're so legit, we're trending on Facebook. If only. If I saw the DB Scoopers on fucking the turning bar of Facebook, I'd shit my pants. <laughs> It'd be for something stupid though. It was a gold bolt. Wow, this was a waste of time. Really? Yeah, gold bolt. I called it. Hey, it's not entirely a waste of time. You can unlock some screen filters in the extras menu. Uh -huh. <laughs> actually, real quick, go to the extras menu because I want to see all the stuff you can actually unlock this gold bolt. Extras, cheats, infinite oh, ammo and invincibility. Infinite. Oh. I have slow game speed. Oh yeah, let's see a uh, game speed. Uh, Vince, you know what we would be trending for, probably? <clears throat> uh, accidentally killing the Undertaker? Uh, you know what, that's not bad, but I was thinking, um, YouTube nobody Kevin Sabo talks shit about the Demon Scoopers. 
YouTube nobody talk shit about other YouTube nobodies. <laughs> but nicer YouTube nobodies. Yeah. You sure Ooh. about that? No, I think we're nicer. I think anyone that on is, on? I think any person that said hello, oh. how are you today, automatically is ahead of Kevin Sable in terms of the nice department. Matt, hi, how are you? <clears throat> I'm good. How are you, Zane? I'm doing pretty good. I got vanilla coke and some oh, food man. that's very quickly getting cold next to me because we're recording. 19, 1970s. I want to see what 1970s looks like. You should get a nice thing of ice. A nice uh, thing of ice and just fill it. Just... It, eh, it, it looks... mutes all the colors and washes shit out. That's... Looks kind of nifty, I guess. I don't like this. It, Ratchet and Clank has yeah. to be colorful. Yeah, yeah it does. Right. Whoa, what about Action Buster? I'm tripping out, man. It it's worse. It, it, this should have been 1970s. <laughs> Don't you think? I can't <laughs> wait to see what the fuck this other one is. Uh. Wow. Bleached cross process old fashioned silver. This looks the same. <laughs> This literally looks the fucking same. Did you change the settings at all? Yeah. Are you serious? Look any different. Oh man, Sly Cooper fan network. Oh, oh it guys, even changes the sound. That's cool. These guys have all the old documents. Vince, guess what it makes them? That got taken down. Was it what? Wow. It makes them a penny. That's immensely. Impressive. Yeah. The penny returns. They even got the old song boards too. Really? Mm-hmm. From the first game? That is They're really cool. fucking pennies, Vince. Jesus. Oh yeah. my god, Nick, I just realized you pennies just got day, you forever. Just you just I got, got what? people You just got people to actually watch this let's play because we're talking about Sly, so now people actually watch this. Uh -huh. Oh man, you know what? This is going to be Let's Play Ratchet and Clank Part 7. Hey guys, we're talking about Sly. <laughs> I mean... Talking about how even if another Sly Cooper game comes out, we're probably not going to play No, if Sly, another Sly Cooper game comes out, I'm probably going to play it. Well, I mean, not Let's Same Play it. Because why the hell yeah, would we not. give these Ooh, fuckers old. anything? Oh man, they're not going to like it. Oh, hang on, don't say anything. No, you're going to go. Okay, we're good. Yeah, you know what? No, the new the, the the new title for this part is going to be Let's Play Ratchet and Clank Part Seven Sly Five Let's Play Cancelled. <laughs> oh no, my <laughs> God! Yeah. this is not gonna go over well. All right, you guys ready to fight the blog? Sure. Yeah, let's fight the blog. Uh, our two fans that stick around are gonna fucking quit. Man. Hey, we have like 20 fans, kinda. <laughs> kinda, sorta. We're gonna have two after this now. You twenty, you twenty people that watch these videos that don't talk about Sly Cooper, you're the best. You are the best. We love you though, like legit. Like even if you want to just like even if you do like Sly Cooper, but you don't fucking chat their ears off about it, you're also awesome. No more Sly Cooper to do. It's over. Oh, nothing. We bled it. It's taking blood it's from over. a stone. It's done. Sly Cooper is dead. Get over it. Okay. Oh, the plasma striker. I don't have enough money. So until it shows signs of being alive, I'm gonna assume it's dead. Right, Vince. You know, I, I can describe it well. Sly is like. A drunk guy at a party passed out on the couch. Is he alive? I don't know. We're just, we don't give a shit enough to check though. We'll see him in the morning. Yeah, basically. That's a pretty accurate description. I remember this level. I remember this level sucks dick. We didn't even turn him on his side. He's still facing up. You can choke his own body. Okay, hang on. I need to... I just... I, I love how I actually got to Zane during the Uncharted 4 Let's Play, because now he's collecting pennies instead of bolts in this game. I I, I legitimately switched to that just for you. <laughs> yeah. Today I am getting to you. Pennies. There was a whole thing in the Uncharted 4 Let's Play where I kept, like... when Okay, when he went down to, like, 
get that thing of copper wire from the ocean. I was like, hey, look at that roll of pennies. And then sometime later on, he found a copper coin, and I was like, I did all of this for a penny. <laughs> and then the penny just became like a running gag in the Let's Play. Yeah. Kinda sucks that it was a part of it, but... <laughs> but, I mean, you didn't want to get spoiled, and that's okay. True. Yeah, exactly, you know. Ratchet. Perhaps it was by my own admission. Great. Right. Reinforce north. Why does everything have to be made of dense alloy? At least, like, in, at least when the cards come out, you can check them out. So much fun. Yes, okay, indeed. I'm gonna like tell you right now the little bit of the end right there. It's not very good. The the ending. The my my performance during that is pretty bad. Your performance. Um. No, it's more like <laughs> I think I died seven times on the final one. Oh god, wow. the final boss was hard. It wasn't hard, but I just kept fucking it up because it was stupid. Well, the thing, my, the problem I had is that it was like, okay, well, I have to do this based on the orientation of a str- uh, Wait, I can't see anything. Oh god, the screen's black. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I had that problem. I was, I was screaming Doom the other night, and... I was in like a really intense section where there's like two Hell Knights which are really tough to fucking kill. And I just like sat there and I killed them all. I'm like, oh shit, I forgot I'm recording. Hi guys! <laughs> wow. GG. I, I was like, I'm sorry, I completely forgot I was supposed to be talking this entire time. And that actually that happens to me too. Like eventually it just starts <laughs> becoming off comments because I'm just getting engrossed in the game. And yeah. then, then I remember, oh, I'm recording at the epilogue, and I just kind of go, oh my god, this is so cool. Yeah. I feel like that's why I kind of, it's so fucking hard sometimes to do that. Like, to talk. Like, especially if it's a game that you've, like, never played before. Yeah. Like, we've yeah. all played Ratchet and Clank before. This is nothing new. So it's like really easy to just kind of get into the game and then talk about random bullshit. Yeah. And I'm dead. How did You're I die? Dead. Yeah. You died by dying. I, I died by getting shot. Life is a fuck. And then you die. Life is a fuck. You know, what? I think I like that better than Vince's original. <laughs> yes. Vince's original movies. Yes, <laughs> my hey, original movies. The first one is going to about, be about this person who runs a euthanasia clinic to <laughs> harvest face cake. Is face cake pink eye? What? It's face cake pink eye. No, it's cake made out of faces. Man, I'm gonna. I said I'm gonna make a Vince original movie, not an episode of Kids Next Door. <laughs> See, see, that's what I was hoping for. I was hoping somebody would remember. <laughs> Good fuck reference. Oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh fuck, I just jumped into the oh, lava. Oh dear oh, lord, shit. I oh, fucked no. up. Oh, whoa. Oh. Wait, no. You there we go. Yeah. I saved it. I saved it. Okay. You know, it's one of my favorite episodes from Kids Next Door, though. The one where, they, where they're fucking like a predator. And they're fighting when, they're, when they got the nachos and the lice. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I love that one. I remember that very vaguely. Man, hey, remember when Galactic Kids Next Door got announced and then was cancelled like a week later? Ah, uh, yeah. That, that I was don't remember it being announced at all, but I remember you showing me that a couple of years, maybe a couple of years ago, like a while ago. <laughs> yeah, no, that was the yeah, announcement no, over, for the series. Okay, it just got over canceled. like... Okay, but to be real though, over the past few years, they've announced like new stuff for things like uh Courage County Dog and Kids Next Door. But if like Powerpuff Girls is anything to go by, I don't think they should do that. No. <laughs> no, because the thing about Cartoon Network corporate now is everything has to be a comedy. Everything's gotta be memes. Everything's gotta have the motherfucking Powerpuff Girls twerking. Yeah. 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 yeah that was so bad. Been getting high as hell. 
there. Thank God there are still some good fucking shows. Right now. I wonder how the like. I wonder how Samurai Jack is gonna fare on Adult Swim. Uh, it has the original creative director team, so it'll be the same as it was before. Adult Swim rebooting old Cartoon Network shows gonna put Cartoon Network rebooting old Cartoon Network shows to shame. Yeah. Because the the thing about the new stuff is none of the people that worked on that shit before is there anymore. But then yeah, because some of them went to Disney and Sony. Money. At, yeah, money. And they were all like, fuck this, I want to make good shit. <laughs> you know what and then really breadwinners <laughs> happened at Nickelodeon. Uh, You know what would be really good though? Adult Swim's version of Courage. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> that would be amazing. You mean Courage Power the Dog? That, dark, <laughs> that was basically. God, that would be so good. Right? Yeah. That would be the absolute best. Like, not everything can work on Adult Swim, obviously. Can't do Dexter on fucking adults from the I thing. don't you not remember when they had to have episodes banned because of how adult content Dexter was? No way. Yeah, there was one where they were cussing. And then there was like the the sexualization episode. <laughs> I still don't know how they were allowed to air that one. Um, I get a lot of fucking Dexter, I guess. Yeah. Then again, I really only had a couple VHSs as a kid, so... Dexter is interesting because the entire team behind Dexter, like, fucked off after Season 2. And then it was an entirely different team for Season 3 on. Oh, it definitely felt like an entirely different team. You could tell. Like, you even had different fucking voice talent because, you know... I'm sorry? What? Sir, hey, sir, that guy are you stuck in the wall? He's he's just chilling like a villain. Well, now he's dead. Now he's dead. He was chilling like a villain, but now he's dead like Fred. Wait, he got stuck in the floor. What the hell? This game is good. Good game. It is. It's a good game. They made it in ten months, and it's a good game. They made it a good ten month game on the fucking. See. Insomniac actually knows what the fuck they're doing. Yes, they do. Did you guys need to give any other fucking dev team 10 months to make a ratchet? You mean Sonic Boom? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. No, those Sonic guys have... Boom! The have example what? of how you don't make a game good in 10 months. Well, here's the thing, weren't they going it on the Unreal Engine? No, they're doing it on the cry engine. Oh! Yeah. And then that was not compatible with the Wii U, was it? Um, The cry engine's kind of compatible. Kind of. Question. Um, <laughs> fuck, what was I going to say? Hang on, give me a second. And it's funny because the dev team for Sonic Boom, Big Red Button, was made up of former members of like Naughty Dog and Insomniac and stuff. And I guess there's a reason they're former members. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's why every time they go, like, former members of this company, and I'm like, were you the janitor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these interns. That's, that's always, you always gotta take a statement like that with a grain of salt. Yeah. They were, they were, unless they actually have the name. Yeah. That's why, did you guys see the thing I posted recently? Guess who Shenmue, the Shenmue 3 dev team got for their <laughs> fucking shit. You said his name, but I don't have he a clue is, who he is. And like, he's an Emmy award winning animator, right? And he worked on uh -oh. Batman and Superman, like the really good one in 97, and he got an Emmy for oh, it. Damn. Damn. That's pretty cool. And then he also worked on Ponyo and a bunch of other stuff. Wow. Yeah, uh, he's got a pedigree. He's got a yeah, pedigree, and he's in charge of all the cutscene work. <laughs> that, that is Damn. Really bad. That's awesome. That's what you get when you get fucking millions from Kickstarter. You... Oh, well, this is what I was gonna ask. Oh, is Tron Runner uh, on PS4 or only Steam? It's on. It's gonna be on PS4. Yeah. It's gonna be, or it is. 
Enemy. Uh, Because it was on Korean like that, I had no idea if it was on PC. Because I remember trying to demo it, like, when I had the demo. I saw, I saw the video of it. Yeah, no, yeah, Tron Runner came out. On, yeah, I remember reading on Sanzara's Facebook page that it was going to be on PC and PS4 and Xbox One. Which, speaking of Sanzara's Facebook page, please stop pestering those guys, people. Seriously, yeah, they please. submitted a Sly 5 fucking proposal and it was denied by Sony. There's yeah, literally so nothing they can do. They can't just go submit another one. There's a wait period. No, dude, but you don't get it. They could have submitted it to Microsoft, and then, like, they could have got, like... like that's, you know, that's right the there. kind of... You know, that's honestly the kind of intelligence I would expect from the people festering Sandaro. Yeah, yeah cause, Jesus Christ, you're stupid. Okay, a while back... A while back on Game Informer magazine, when um, Jack and Dax HD Collection was released, and they reviewed it on Game Informer, they accidentally listed it as being available for the PS3 and the 360. And when people yeah. found out that it wasn't on the 360, people were like, well, why? Why can't it be on the 360? Oh my god. Oh lord, yeah. I need yeah. more health. I don't have enough health. Health, please. All right, I ate it all. That'd be great. Here, jump and press the circle button. There is no circle button. Good fucking luck. Just, like, keep all the tutorials the same. You with, like, even... same button and same voice acting and stuff. And whenever someone comes across a tutorial telling the first time a button doesn't exist, on the 360 version, they just add the disclaimer. If your controller doesn't have this button, good fucking luck. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh, dude, there were... What? There were... Uh, okay. I feel stupid now. Look at all the coins. Here. Wow. I ran away for no reason. Womp. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Fucking idiots. Ratchet dreamed of riding that grind rail. Which he will do as soon as he finds some grind boots. Cool! Grind, grind boots! And that completely unlikely location is where Ratchet found a shiny new pair of grind boots. Grind boots. Alright, well time to on, use the grind boots and the hopefully grind, not get my shit kicked in. Time to collect a whole bunch of pennies. Yep. Can I speed up? Or no. You, you can just go find. Grind on me. Still on the hunt for oh, the jetpack, uh, Ratchet weird, used huh? his newfound grind boots to explore the planet's have, I do not have enough, but I do have enough to upgrade the mounts or some more. Oh, nice! Sorry, need more bolts. I got kids to buy holocards for. All right, bouncer is now 64% upgraded. Yay! I feel like the narrator in this game. Like I, have, I don't really know. The narrator is Kevin Quark. <clears throat> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. He's narrating the story from inside his prison cell. He's a it prison was bitch. Kevin Quark is the true prison bitch. I thought it was the same narrator as, um. No. Or at least from the trailer, was funny. I don't even think the narrator was in the fucking movie, I just mean more of the trailer. It's the planet, it gets exploded. On a different planet. <laughs> uh. Yeah! Hey look, some more shit to break. Some rare titanium. So I just... I have a quick question. Yeah. Is you think Ratchet Clank is even gonna get a Blu-ray? Well, it's already up for pre-order to buy on the uh, PlayStation Store. Not bad. So. I didn't mean to insult you, Ratchet fans. Maybe not. Maybe it will. Who knows? Don't worry. Yeah. I'm a friend. I know who you are. You're the Lombax and the Warbot from the news. Oh, and you must be the faceless minion helping Drek terrorize the galaxy. That's just my day job. 
My amateur neuroscience? neuroscience. What? Uh, uh, like, oh, telepath to post brains. You need those for something. The only reason I know that is because there's a trophy for collecting them all. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say you're safe. <laughs> Studying brains is a noble pursuit. If I You're just the dude from Invader Zim. Motherfucker trying to reenact Psychonauts or something? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, don't I already do that? Yeah. Basically. But even Tate. more so, it's gonna be What? Perfect. Oh, this is like that. The one thing that you did in, like, Ratchet Clank go on Commando and up your arsenal and into the next, it's just gotta go around this area to, like, uh, things. Uh, you gotta. I fucking hate you. You can find <laughs> it's a collectathon. A fully grown yeah. This is oh man, disgusting. just like Banjo is doing. You know, no, nice not really. Have you ever played Banjo Kazooie? No. Maybe we should LP a Banjo and Kazooie. That nah, sounds like it'd be a fun time. Okay, well, can I just kill you, please? Thanks. Also, I really love doing these in Ratchet and Clank games because they're a perfect time for like grinding for bullets and experience, which. Understandably, it's probably not good for a let's play, but... Yeah, no. Not really. Can I... Oh, look at the crab. Back away, oh, no, button. button. Where's that last pack? Oh, it's dead. That's gonna sound weird. Oh. God, hang on. Um... Can I just get some breathing room, please? Thank you. Rubatron. And now you get to be Rubitron. blown up by grenades. Grenado. Take the shield down. Hello, you're not dead. Now you are. <laughs> so, I haven't dropped any frames despite streaming this to two separate sources. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. These button presses remind me a lot of like the Riddler Challenge in Hockey City. I hate those fucking things. Yeah, fuck Riddler. I haven't even played Arkham City nice. yet, because you know. Because Batman. Uh, well, that too. Ah, uh, the Batman games are okay if only a little stale after a while. Batman games are okay except not on the PC, because Warner Brothers hates PC people. There's bad. All right, where do I go now? Oh. They hate the master race. Am I right, Vince? Shut up. I'm, is the, <laughs> if you're not hating I'm the like, master race, I'm primarily get out PC, of here. and that's I still don't know. <laughs> well, it's all the same thing now. I mean, Jesus Christ, somebody ported Steam to the PS4. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Some motherfucker out there homebrewed some Steam on PS4. And it works. Yeah. Like, you can even play things on, like, medium to high. I need a fucking... This <laughs> Why? Your computer is probably better than the PS4. No, I know no, it's I better. I'm the one who designed it. Yeah. <laughs> Not even wrong. I don't know. It might be better than Vince's computer, though, but just by virtue of the fact that his processor is like eight years old. <coughs> wow. Yeah, for those who don't know, he's using like an AMD Phenom X2. 940? 960? I don't remember. It's, I mean, it's Zane, old. just out of curiosity, what do you think would it would take longer, the time it took you and me to build my PC, or to figure out how to get Steam on a PS4? I think getting Steam on the PS4 definitely took them longer. Oh god, yeah. I think for both of our sakes. We'll stay with the setup we have now. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shit fuck. 
Oh boy, brains. Oh. Wow, I can't believe I haven't made this reference yet since we're collecting brains, but is this the straw humans now? Yeah, it kind of feels like it. A little bit. <laughs> and can I just say that I did that without having to kill any of the fucking monsters? So, that's pretty great. I'm glad I didn't have to. I probably oh, even couldn't do that. We got a mystery, I guess. The Hello. Hell? Hey, Jimbo, we're playing Ratchet and Clank. We're recording. Oh, nice. I just got the jetpack. Uh, are y'all playing uh, All for One? No, no we're Zane is playing the new Ratchet and Clank, and we're watching. We're recording. So let's play. Yes, I do. Ratchet collected enough Furon DNA, and now he can fly with Crypto's jetpack. Alright, hang on. I'm loving all- I love all these Spongegar memes. Yes, they're the best. Spongegar memes are awesome. We found out today that it's not Spongegar. Huh? Yeah, no, Spongegar was from Pug, apparently, and now this is from, uh, SP1.9. I have no idea. I don't, I don't give a shit enough about the difference, but it was Pug. They're both... Cave Man, SpongeBob, so they're basically both SpongeGuard, it doesn't matter. Oh, I hey, really look, a boss fight. Can I just, I just uh, kill you? There were two. Yeah, right? boss fight. If you're, if you're, on, uh, if you're on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, uh, Jimmy, just so you know the answer. <laughs> so, wait, wait, there were two SpongeBob before comedy episodes? Uh. No. no. SpongeBob, uh, like SpongeGar on that thing, that was on um, a special. But the one that's used in the memes is from SB129, where Pat, where Squidward goes, gets frozen into the future, and then gets sent back in time from SB129, uh, from SpongeBob's uh, time machine. Oh, I thought that was all the same episode. Mm, nope. Oh, dude, you got three brains. Those things have three brains. Oh man, time to go on a murder spree. Yeah. Yeah. Man, how how smart would we be if we all had three brains? I don't know. <laughs> what would Zane be? <laughs> I would uh, be your. Hey, you know, Zane would. No, nothing yeah. would really change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I see in the uh, I see in the chat what you posted. It's not SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah, someone uh, Ryan posted it. Is Ryan here? Yeah. Ryan is. Not. Yeah, he went to yeah bed, he's, he's kinda dead. Yeah. Yeah, he's kinda dead. Is he the new you? Yeah. I was about to say this is like the fifth time. I guess he's taking my fucking shit. Matt and Ryan trying to steal from Matt. Yeah, man. You're stealing everything from me. Do I have. Yes. Okay. Hey, looks like you found what I just hear like most telepath like a fucking million times. What the fuck is that? Telepathicus. He was trying to see yeah, if he could say long. telepathicus five times fast or something. Where is that? That's that. Um, Where. Oh. <clears throat> That sounds like something you should have a conversation with your doctor about. Telepathopus sounds like a new way to sexually stimulate somebody. <laughs> well, I mean... I guess. Oh man, murder is free. Please stop killing me. I will not stop killing you. It will kill you harder. You not. <laughs> oh man, max health plus 10. Yeah, great. I kill you. 
Jesus Christ. I Can I just point out, I have the jet plaque now, so there's like so much shit I can do. You are not dead yet. Just a few more. Sam has the jet pack now, so go fuck yourself. Zane has the jetpack. Zane has the power. I have the power. Thank you. Ah, bad master of the universe. Okay. Well, master of the universe, I guess. When do you want to do Overwatch next? Oh, oh, tomorrow. Overwatch. But I'm super. Di I can't wait to play it. I love playing that game. I can't wait till it's not full price and then I can buy it. I can't wait until I own it, whenever that is. In like two years, probably. <laughs> Next Christmas. Next year. Not this Christmas, my dear. <laughs> How about that Battleborn being like seventeen dollars? What? Yeah, did you not see me link that earlier? It's on I, I, I the PS4 version of motherfucking oh, Battleborn man. is seventeen dollars on Play Asia. That wow, GG. Good job, Battleborn. Man, and poor Gearbox, they they kind of missed the mark with Battleborn there. They would not have predicted that Overwatch, a far superior game probably, is going to release at the same time Battleborn did. I mean, they probably knew, and then the fact that they didn't do anything about it kind of says a lot about how dumb they are. <laughs> They're just like, hey, what's this game? I don't, is it Borderlands? Oh, we don't care, just whatever with it. Shit, fuck, cunt. Okay, um, let's escape. <laughs> Escape. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> Is that thing gonna follow me? Okay, thank god. Escape. Alright, my guys, I'm gonna go play Overwatch with Nate. So I'll how see you later. How dare you? Goodbye. Yeah, how dare me. I'll be on tomorrow. I'll be on I'm actually okay. pretty sleepy too. Can I... But you're gonna go play Overwatch with Nate? Yeah, I am, but like a game or two from this. Really, really tired. I got like four hours of sleep. Then drove to Huntsville and rode to Nashville. And rode to Huntsville and drove back home. Uh huh. You did all the driving. All of it forever. Well, I rode. I rode to Nashville and back to Huntsville. You did all the riding. Shit, fuck, cunt. Alright, see you later! See you, dude. Oh, dear lord. Okay, I need more health. I have nine health. <coughs> Once you turn in this next set of brains, we should take a break for the night. I think this will be enough for a few more sets. Yeah, probably. Another few parts. It's good, too, because... gonna send you to Lombax Heaven? I don't know. Do Lombax even have Heaven? Do Lombax oh, have Heaven? Really? Maybe all. I don't know. I personally I don't think, think all of them. I think we really need to have that conversation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Uh, what is this game rated? Is it rated E? I don't know. E10. Because if it's oh no, well that explains why you couldn't say that they're gonna send the one back cell. Yep. I mean, I don't get why that would just say hell anyway. It's hell. What kind of ten-year-old doesn't know what hell is? A sheltered one? One without the internet? <laughs> oh man. The telepath of was on is as good as mine. Infobot. Yeah, I got an infobot, sweet. Good evening, fellow blog. Chairman Trek here with the latest update on our quest for a new home. Over the next few days, you may notice an increase in Blarg activity around the galaxy. 
while this may alert the authorities to our plan, this move is critical to securing safe passage for our harvesters. Case in point, Ooh. the Star Watch defense cannon on planet Batalia. This surface to space ion cannon has hey, been that looks like the galaxy from invasions so wait, did they get um the first driven under they get uh with this mission, our oh, glorious crap. plan can continue preparations are already underway uh, so fear not I... let me go let me see what they got here once we eliminate star watch and its surrounding forces We'll enter the final stages of my plan. <laughs> <coughs> Let's see here. We've gotta stop Drek from destroying that Star Watch defense cannon. <laughs> my records show that the cannon is on the planet Battalia. I just hope we're not too late. If you're looking for a little extra work, I'll pay a nice reward for collecting any off. remaining brains in this area. If you find them all, I'll even throw in a special bonus. What even is that? I don't know. Probably a weapon. The Walloper, maybe? According to IMDB, they got someone called Eric uh, Bosa. Yeah, for Jamin Vic. But, he sounded just the tiniest bit different. <laughs> yeah, but also at the same time, since some of the cutscenes in this game are basically just clips from the movies, Paul Giamatti is also here That's one of as well. <laughs> okay. Well, guys. The pseudo could identify any yes. Virus, but did he have this? <laughs> uh, there are Smell 60 more brains in the area. Brain. Oh, like man. Candy. I'm not doing brain. that on camera. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank you all for watching. This has been set two of Ratchet and Clank. And we will see you all next time. Goodbye.